oh you shouldn't do open chain exercises like leg extensions if you've had your ACL reconstruction because that's going to stress the graft too much and it's going to snap. So after an ACL reconstruction, we all know it's really important that we need to get uh, all muscles working. The quads are obviously very important and quad asymmetry is very common in people when they've had an ACL graft because the quads are very inhibited by pain and swelling. And obviously from an ACL rupture and an ACL surgery, that is obviously a big problem and something that we really need to get going on. Now, obviously we know that we can train the quads and other muscles in a multitude of different ways. There's two sort of classifications of areas here, open chain, which is basically like a leg extension, a leg curl, basically where the foot is open. So it's not in contact with the surface, not in contact with the floor, not in contact with the plate. So this tends to have more of a, a shearing load across the surfaces of the joints, less compressive load. Whereas if you look at a leg press, a squat, a lunge, where your foot is in contact with either a plate or the floor, they're closed chain exercises because the kinetic chain is closed to the ground then there's probably more compressive load and slightly less shearing loads on average in general. Now, I was trained at university that open chain exercises were dangerous, you know, for ACL grafts. If someone's had a reconstruction, you've got to be very careful within that window of time where the graft is a little bit more fragile. And open chain puts way too much load on the ACL graft and therefore is too dangerous to do and you shouldn't do them. So leg extensions are a no-no. You want to be doing squats, leg presses, stuff like that. Is this actually true? Uh, what does the research on this actually find? So here was a report on multiple studies where they were looking at basically if open chain exercises like leg extensions were actually inherently dangerous and unsafe and risky for ACL graft repairs from a reconstructive ACL, so an anterior cruciate ligament. And overwhelmingly they found, no, there's no real increased risk factor here. Um, they found that they are very, very useful leg extensions for really isolating the quads. So if someone's having issues with, um, you know, a more com compound movement, uh, whether it be the skill of the compound movement or the compound movement itself, then obviously that's not so good. Um, you can get rectus femoris a lot more recruited with a leg extension than you can on any other type of exercise. That obviously is a very key muscle involved in the quad. And therefore, these are areas which if you don't train open chain, you're going to neglect some of the benefits of the open chain for your quads. So this is one reason why you should do it. Now, going back to the risk factor, they actually found that in some of the studies that walking, yes, just walking, put actually two to three times more load on the graft of the ACL than an open chain leg extension. So where's the risk? We don't tell ACL patients, don't walk. Therefore, ACLs can tolerate leg extension. Now, obviously, you can grade the exercise, you can grade the range of motion, you can grade the load, and you want to be progressive. So the beauty of this is start easy, start with a shorter range of motion, and therefore build up from that. Listen to the body, listen to the swelling, listen to everything and build it up. Because on the premise of just globally saying open chain exercises are dangerous, we would be saying walking is dangerous. And that's obviously not true. So essentially, it, it does appear that what I was training at uni, where I keep finding this out all the time, is no longer considered to be actually bob on. And of course, loads of people are gonna still say this because it depends on how up to date with the research that people are being and old habits die hard at the end of the day. So yes, so this means if you've had an ACL repair then uh, or reconstruction, then you should actually be including some open chain exercises in there in again, a progressive and gradual way. Obviously they're not, not the be all and end all of course, but they are very useful to get isolation into the quad and the rectus femoris and really get that area going, which is really good. So anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.